I don't know about you guys, but I love giving my dolls all the things I can't have in real life. Like, I've always wanted to make a full three-story dollhouse, but I just don't have enough room for that at home, so I never could. But now my dolls can have one, so I'll take that as a win. If you too want to give your dolls a dollhouse, watch until the end to get a free printable template to make it. Or pay a visit to my shop for the digital version for a cutting with a cricket or a silhouette cutting machine. But now, let's get started. To make the structure of this miniature dollhouse, I used cardstock from old food packaging because I like to eat and therefore I have tons of it at home. Also, this kind of cardstock is usually a little thicker than regular scrapbooking type cardstock and it makes it easier to create sturdy structures. Let's start by making the foundations of our little dollhouse. Cut this part twice and glue the two layers together. I'm using a sticker maker but any other type of glue will do. Now cut this part three times and stack these layers together. The final piece should be approximately 2mm thick. Attach this piece to the bigger base we made before, lined up at the front. Repeat this step for this part of the template. Cut it 3 times, glue the layers together, and finally stick the resulting piece to the bigger base, aligned this time with the back end. Now cut this part twice, glue the two sides together, and attach the final piece to the front of the dollhouse base, like this. Color the entire piece with a coat of acrylic gesso and set it aside for a moment. It's time to start building the facade of our dollhouse. Cut this part three times and glue these layers together. This will be the dollhouse's front wall. Then cut this part twice. These are going to be the sides of our miniature dollhouse. Now cut this template into paper. Lay it over one of the side panels we just cut and trace these lines with a pencil. Repeat this step for both sides, then cut this part four times. Attach these triangles to the top of each side panel, two per side. Next, glue these pieces two at a time to the bottom and middle sections of the side panels, like this. Cover the front and side panels of our little dollhouse with a coat of acrylic gesso. I found that the easiest way to achieve an even top coat is to apply a base layer using a paintbrush and a top layer using a makeup sponge. Now cut all these strips into regular cardstock. If you're using a cutting machine, my little trick is to lift the cutout strips with masking tape. This makes it way easier to remove the strips from the mat and then you can glue all the strips to the dollhouse's walls in just one step using a sticker maker or a glue roller. If you're cutting by hand, I suggest using a ruler as a separator between each strip so that they are evenly spaced. At this point, we can begin coloring the facade of our miniature dollhouse with acrylic paint. And of course, if you prefer, you can directly paint the exterior part of the walls without adding the siding. Next, we can start working on the windows and door of our little dollhouse. Cut this part into regular cardstock 10 times. Glue the frames to the back and front sides of each window. Then assemble these two pieces to make the window shutters. Glue the shutters to the front side of each window. Now cut this part into paper and this one into cardstock 3 times. Glue the cardstock layers over the paper one, aligned with the right side. Then cut this part twice. Glue these elements to the door, one on each side. I decided to color the sides of the door with white acrylic paint. Now insert the door into the opening on the wall with a little paper tab resting on the interior side. Then glue one of these frames over the opening and the paper tab like this. Finally glue the remaining frame on the wall's front side. Use two small beads to make the handles of the door. I colored mine with acrylic paints. And this is what the front facade of our little house should look like at this point. Now let's make the floors and inner wall of our miniature dollhouse. Cut this part into cardstock four times and glue the layers in pairs. Color both pieces with acrylic gesso and set them aside to dry. Now cut this part, coloring the lines to create a three-dimensional surface. If you're using my digital templates, you can score these lines directly with your machine. Otherwise, I suggest using a ruler and an embossing tool or an old ballpoint pen to do it by hand. 
And just a reminder, you'll find the download link to the free printable template at the end of this video, and the digital version for cutting with a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine is in my shop linked in the description box. Color these floors with acrylic paints. You can add some shading for a more realistic effect, but personally, I wanted to keep this a little fakey looking since it's supposed to be a toy. You can also use nail polish to give the surface a shiny, glossy finish. Glue one of the wooden floors to the base of our miniature dollhouse and the remaining floors to the panels we made earlier. Make sure you place these floors at the very center of each panel, leaving a 1mm space at both ends. Now cut this part into cardstock twice, glue the layers together, then color the resulting piece with acrylic gesso. Glue this piece to the middle floor, like this. It's time to build the roof of our miniature dollhouse. Let's start by making the dormer. Cut this part twice and glue the two layers together. Cover this piece with a couple of coats of acrylic gesso and let it dry. Cut these strips into regular cardstock and glue them to one side of the little wall. Then color the exterior part of the wall with the same color you used for the rest of the facade. Finally, cut this part twice and glue it to the front and back sides of the wall. Now cut this part and fold it in half. Then glue it on top of the dormer's wall. To make the roof, cut this part and fold it along the scored line. Put some glue all along the border of this hole. Then attach the dormer to the roof. Now let's add some shingles. Cut this part several times and glue these strips to the exterior part of the roof, starting at the bottom and going up. The strips should overlap slightly, and I advise you to trim the excess as you go. Repeat this process for the opposite side of the roof and for the dormer as well. And by the way, if you're enjoying this project, make sure you come back to my channel in a couple of weeks. I'm working on something very similar to this one, but also completely different. Can you guess what it is? Now cover the whole roof with acrylic gesso. Then paint the shingles with acrylic paint. To make the front porch roof, cut this part into cardstock. Glue the little triangles to this rectangle. One line that with the left side, one on the right, and two on the center left and center right. Then glue this rectangle on top of the other pieces. Next, cut this part five times. Glue each strip to the top of the piece we just made, making sure that they are overlapping. To make the columns, take four toothpicks. I use these carved ones. If your toothpicks have a pointy end like mine do, send them to make them flat. Then cut them at a length of approximately 3.5 cm. Send again to make the ends smooth. Then glue these little columns to the bottom of the roof, aligned with the front edge. Color the entire piece with acrylic gesso first, and then color the shingles with acrylic paint. Before we start adding more details to our miniature dollhouse, let's begin to assemble it. Insert the front wall into the groove on the doll's house base, then put a bit of white glue on the edge of one of the side walls and attach it to the front wall. Repeat this step for the opposite side. When the glue has dried, slide the two floors into the grooves on the side walls. If you want, you can glue them in place, but personally, I wanted to have the option to take them out to make it easier to decorate the house at a later stage. Next, put some glue on the top of both side walls and place the roof. To attach the porch roof, put some glue under each column and behind the roof before sticking it in place. At this point, we can begin to add a few details to our miniature dollhouse's facade. Cut this part into cardstock, then measure it against the columns on the front porch. Cut away the excess paper and glue this little piece to the front of the columns. Do the same thing for the side of the porch, then repeat these steps for the opposite side of the house. Now cut this part into cardstock to make a small doormat. Color it with a base of light brown acrylic paint, then use an old stiff paintbrush to add some spots of a darker brown color. Use a fine tip black marker to add a little design or word to the mat. Now let's make some window boxes to spruce up our dollhouse's windows. Take a square craft pick or a matchstick, 
Measure three pieces, each 1.5 centimeters long, and cut them. Color these pieces with white acrylic paint. To make the flowers, I use these micro beads. Cover one side of each window box with white glue and dip it into the micro bead spot. When the glue is dry, color the bead layer with dark green acrylic, then add a few spots in a lighter green shade, and finally a few spots in a contrasting color to give the illusion of flowers. Glue the window boxes under the top floor windows like this. Now let's make a little potted shrub. Take a toothpick and paint its end with dark green acrylic paint. Cut a strip of copy paper and roll it over the toothpick. Trim away the excess and file the bottom of the vase to smooth it out. Then, just like we did for the window boxes, cover the tip of the toothpick in white glue and dip it into a pot of micro beads. I use even smaller beads this time. When the glue has dried, color the shrub with spots of different shades of green acrylic and our miniature dollhouse's dollhouse is ready. I wanted to make some tiny furniture but that would have made the video 45 minutes long, which no one wants to see. But if you'd like to see a follow-up video for the furnishing, just let me know in the comments. As promised, here's the link to the free printable template and if you're interested in the SVG and Silhouette Studio files, there's a link to my shop in the description box. And if you're feeling crafty, I suggest you watch this playlist next to discover many more fun projects for your dolls. And this is all for today's video, until next time, bye!